because it's a muse house and it's not listed, uh, although it's in the conservation area, we, we were able to uh, basically strip out the whole of, of the inside and reconfigure it as we thought best. So we put in uh, on the top floor, if we start from the top, we put in master bedroom and uh, bedroom two, which can be uh, either a family or guest bedroom. The first floor where we, we now are, uh, we've got the living room and bedroom three. At the ground floor we have the garage, the kitchen diner. And in the basement we have the laundry, media room, uh, zen garden. Being a property developer, obviously the brief was to create something to sell. So the brief was uh, really to make the best use of the space, which in London is always tricky because space is always at a premium. Uh, but at the same time, have the wow factor, so that's why we incorporated the 10 and a half meter water feature, which was the previous light well, which we enclosed with a glass retractable roof. It's the only kitchen I've ever seen where there's a ladder to get to the top cupboards which is uh, put onto a rail like in the library, you know, to take account of the very high ceilings. The fireplaces are all uh, original designs as well. Uh, so, I mean, there's lots of, each room has different features. I think it's getting the amalgamation of them all together that uh, helps the whole thing flow. I think creating something uh, quite special and unusual out of a very ordinary space obviously gives you satisfaction. People have said it's like a TARDIS quite unassuming from the outside, discreet. And then when people come in, they, they're actually shell-shocked because of the, the wire factor and the high ceilings and the, the, the design, they're just not expecting it. Uh, but I think that is the, the unique experience.